Welcome back, John Fuller family, for day four of our Read Across America read-alouds. Today's read-aloud is by author Andrea Wang. She lives in Colorado with her family, but she grew up in Ohio. Her parents were Chinese immigrants, and her experience growing up with them inspires all of her books that she's written. Today, we're going to learn about how we can communicate without using our words, but by looking for a common bonds, something that links us together. So without further ado, here is our next read aloud, Luli and the Language of Tea by Andrea Wang. Luli and the Language of Tea by Andrea Wang, Pictures by Haiwan Yum. Published by Neil Porter Books. The playroom was quiet. Luli couldn't speak English. Neither could the others. All around the room, children played alone. Last time, Luli had played by herself too, until she had an idea. She'd drawn it for Miss Hirokena. This time, Luli had a plan. From inside her backpack and onto the round table, Luli sat. A thermos, a canister, stacks of cups, and a fat-bellied teapot. Out of the canister and into the teapot, Luli dropped a small ball of tea leaves. Plop! Out of the thermos and over the tea leaves, Luli poured steaming hot water. Ploosh! Luli took a deep breath. Cha! she called in Chinese. All around the room, heads popped up. Chai? asked Maxim in Russian. Chai? Ania said in Hindi. Chai? asked Kareem in Turkish. Chai? Niku said in Persian. Chai? asked Hakim in Arabic. Te? Valentina said in Spanish. Tea? asked Mateus in German. Chai? Tishala said in Swahili. Sha? asked Pedro in Portuguese. The tea was ready. Luli beamed. She was ready. Cha, she beckoned. All around the room, children joined together. Luli poured the first cup and gave it to Maxine, who gave it to Anea, who gave it to Kareem, who gave it to Niku, who gave it to Hakim, who gave it to Valentina, who gave it to Matthias, who gave it to Tishala who gave it to Pedro. All around the table, children passed tea. Everyone had a full cup, except Luli. Pedro took Luli's empty cup and passed it to Tishala, who passed it to Matthias, who passed it to Valentina, who passed it to Hakim, who passed it to Niku, who passed it to Kareem, who passed it to Anea, who passed it to Maxim, who passed it to Luli, all around the table, each child gave a little tea. Now everyone had a share. Hands curled around warm cups, mouths curved into shy smiles. Luli took another deep breath and pulled out one last surprise. She held up a box and spoke her new favorite word in English. Cookie? The playroom was no longer quiet. Luli's teapot was empty but her heart was full. I love how Luli was able to find something to bring her and her classmates together, even though they did not speak the same language. Maybe you'll be inspired to learn a new language. What language would you like to learn? Today, your job is to think of a kindness that you could show someone without using any words. You can see I have hold open the door for someone. What's something you could do that you don't need to communicate using words. Can't wait to see what you come up with.